on the phone line right now, the most accurate kicker in the history of college football, never missed an extra point. And he says, I'm leaving a year of eligibility on the table. I'm going pro early. So I had to get Roberto Aguayo on the phone of Florida State. How are you, Roberto? I'm good, guys. How are you? I'm doing fine. So, Roberto Aguayo, you're going early into the draft, aren't you? Yes, that is correct. How'd you come about this decision? You know, well, last year I was considering it, um, and just with with the two seasons that I had, you know, I thought I, you know, I was capable of it, and, you know, I got, I mean, I was going to get drafted, you know, got willing pretty, you know, high, but I talked with my parents, and the main thing going into college was to get a college degree, so um, got another year of experience, graduated in fall of 2015, so I got my degree, and um, I've had, th had three successful seasons here, and uh, like you said, leaving uh, Florida State as the most accurate kicker in, in NCAA history, so, you know, I think I think the time was right, and, uh, you know, I've accomplished a lot of things there, winning a national championship with the team, and, uh, and winning at Groza, so you know, I think uh, I think I've got to take my talents to to the next level. Yes, take your talents to the next level, sir. What about people saying kickers can't go pro early? What do you say to that, Roberto Aguayo? What do you say to that? <laughs> well, you know, I, I, I think that's pretty funny, but um, I don't know. I think I think my statistics and my my um, you know kicks on the field show that you know I'm. I'm capable of declaring early and, uh, you know, leaving the most accurate kicker. I mean, that just tells you that, you know, I'm not an ordinary kicker. Obviously, you know, if I would have, you know, had, a, you know, been pretty average, I would have stayed in my another year and then maybe maybe just tried it next year. But with the, with the accolades and with the, with the uh, records and, and things I've done on the field, I think, uh, I think yeah, it's, I'm – I'm supposed to declare, you know, and uh, I mean, I heard the last time that a kicker declared early was uh, 16 years ago with Sebastian Janikowski, mm -hmm. so <laughs> I guess I'm, I'm with him now, too, so I think it's the right time, and, and uh, I think, uh, you know, it's good, and I'm excited for it. You're all Seminoles, I guess. Have you, have you, uh, have you asked Seabass for, for any guidance on this subject? Do you have any contact with Janikowski? Uh, you know, to tell you the truth, no, I, I haven't I haven't gotten in contact with him, but you know, there's definitely other guys that are, that are out there in the league that, you know, I've gone to Florida State with Graham Gano, you know, I've talked to him a few, Dustin, obviously I've played with him so, um, you know, I'm excited for it and uh, you know, at the end of the day, it's just get, kick the ball to, the, to those uprights, so. So, what about, what, what about at all the uh, the process. Mm -hmm. Do you have? Do you have? You're, you're getting texts right now for people saying you're, you're on the Rich Eisen show, right, Roberto? Right now, I heard those buzzes. <laughs> yes. So, yes. <laughs> so uh, are, is there like a process that you found out where you might be drafted? Like, do you have an idea right now what your draft position might be? Uh, there's a couple of teams right now that are pretty, you know, high. Well, pretty that need that need kickers. Five, six, or seven teams that are interested. That could possibly uh, I could be selected to, but um, I mean right now I think with the extra point being moved back has uh, created a lot of need and uh, for kickers you know especially that are accurate from 33 yards and uh, like you said there's been a lot of missed kicks a lot of missed extra points this year and uh, I think that's just going to raise our uh, our value. Uh, in, in, in kickers, and uh, I think, you know, with, you know, depending how I do in the combine and with pro day and everything, I mean, you never know. Uh, you know, third round, you know, there's, there's fourth, third, second, you know, and you never know, maybe even first. I mean, if Sebastian yes. got drafted first round, yes. you know, I don't see why that can happen again, but at the end, at the end of the day, you know, you, you, you try to be realistic, but... I can only control what I can control, and that's uh, that's doing my job and kicking that ball as best as I can. So and that's that's what I'm that's what I'm going to do and prepare for. Just letting you know, Roberto, coming to this next level, your biggest challenge is going to be breaking through this awful myth that kickers aren't real people. That you're not a person. You're not a person. <laughs> you're you're not a game changer. You know what I mean? Until you. Make yes. that big kick, or you saw Mason Crosby with a big strip of Cordero Patterson on Sunday Night Football. You know what I mean? You got to go that extra mile. Yes, it's unfortunate, yes. but it's the truth, Roberto. Are you aware of that? 
Yes, definitely. And, uh, you know, growing up, I, I, you know, I always pride myself on being an athlete. And uh, yes. I think I carry that into into this position. Uh, most kickers, you know, are seen as uh, clumsy and just unathletic and just, you know, not, are there just to hit a ball. But, you know, I like uh, – I kick the ball and, I, you know, I, I – I, I mean, I I played I played all other positions. I played quarterback, running back, linebacker in uh, in in middle school. So, you know, I grew up playing all positions. In high school, my coach only wanted me to kick because you know that's he, he saw my talent and he didn't want me to get hurt. So, it was hard seeing everyone else running out there hitting. So, you know, I've gotten myself in that. And uh, you know, on kickoff, if someone does come, you know, I'm I'm ready to hit. Although the coaches might not like that, but yeah, you know, I'm ready. You know, to to put my my body on the line because, well, you know, at the end of the day, it's for the team. And uh, But, no, uh, you never know. I'm, uh, uh, you know, still debating if I'll do the, the 40 the forty run or, or the yeah. 40 yard dash or, you know, maybe lift, uh, hit some reps on bench and show my athleticism. Uh, oh, but, yeah. I can't wait I for know. that. Kickers putting up uh, reps at 225. You go, Roberto Aguayo. And the best part <laughs> about you going pro is your brother, Ricky, is coming right behind you, right? He's the next kicker at Florida yeah. State? That is right. That nope. is right. He, uh, he's actually enrolled early already at Florida State, and uh, he's already enrolled in classes, and uh, he's excited for that. And uh, you know, he's going to be ready for to step up and uh, you know replace my shoes. Okay. Very good. Congratulations, Roberto. You are a person. You're a draftee. You can get drafted, and I can't wait to watch that. I'll be covering it on the NFL Network. I'll be there for you. Thank you. Thank you very much. You bet. Thanks for calling in, Roberto. Yes, no doubt. Bye -bye. You got it. That's Roberto Aguayo. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern, on Audience.